The improved connection process between WordPress and Content Studio is now easier and quicker since you can directly download the plugin from the WordPress store. It also limits the Content Studio plugin access to only admins so your account is more secure. For all the new users as well as our existing ones, let me show you how to go about the new WordPress plugin connection process. To start off, you have to remove the existing plugin connections from both Content Studio and WordPress. Make sure you're the admin for both the pages and don't close the tabs you open. Let's get started. Open up the Content Studio app and go to Settings in the top right corner. Click on Blogs and Websites. Under WordPress, remove your already existing connection and click Yes. Next, in a new tab, log into the WordPress admin page. In the left panel, click on Plugins. Look for Content Studio and deactivate it. You will be notified that the plugin has been deactivated. Now it's time to set up a new connection. On the top next to Plugin, click on Add New. Here, you can now look for Content Studio in the search bar on the right. Once it shows up, activate it. The page will refresh and ask you for an API key. Copy the URL link of your blog from the top. Then, go back to Content Studio's Blogs and Websites Settings page. Under the WordPress section, select Connect to New WordPress Blog or Website. In the pop-up under Website URL, paste the previously copied URL. Enter your mentioned blog credentials in the relevant fields. Then, under Choose Method for Content Submission, Make sure you select the official WordPress plugin preferred, which is the new method. Click Save. Once these credentials are verified and the connection has been established, Content Studio will notify you in the top right corner with a message saying your blog or website has been successfully added. Now, click on the key icon under Actions on the right side of your connected blog. This is the API key which you will copy and head back to the WordPress admin page where you will paste it. Click Connect with API key. Once the connection of your blog has successfully been made to Content Studio, you will be notified on the top of the page. The page will self-refresh and say that your website is connected with Content Studio. Now it's time to whitelist IPs. If you have a security plugin installed, you need to whitelist Content Studio's IP to give it access to your blog. Head over to the article linked in the description box below. You can see the list of different plugins here. Scroll down and copy Content Studio's IP. Then go back to the WordPress Admin tab. Note that different plugins have different settings titles. For iThemes and WordFence, the links are given in the description box below. In the left column, hover the mouse over Jetpack, which is the plugin we have used, and go to Settings. Scroll down and under Brute Force Attack Protection, which is the settings title for Jetpack, click the downward arrow on the right. Here, paste your IP and click Save. You will be informed of the update and that's it! Your connection has been made and the relevant permissions have been given. Now, if you want to check whether a successful connection has been made, go to Content Studio and head over to the Composer and create a blog post. Under Distribute, select WordPress as your primary channel. From the drop-down, select your blog. If you're able to select your blog and the page asks you for author and category, etc., it means that your connection was valid and successful. Well, that's all! If you still have any questions, reach out to us on our social media channels. The links are given in the description box below. You can also email us at support at contentstudio.io. See you with more updates.